And here with us is Joy, six weeks after her robotic guided hip replacement, as well as her orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Lawrence Doerr. Now, Joy's the first patient ever to have this procedure, and Dr. Doerr is the first surgeon ever to perform it. So we're very honored to have both of you here. Thank you. And, and first things first, six weeks, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm very pleased. I feel very lucky. I was walking four hours after the surgery. Uh, went home the next day, was able to walk upstairs and go use my own bedroom. I was walking outside the following day, and um, within two weeks, I was walking a mile that in my own so neighborhood. That is so great. And wonderful. for someone who was struggling just to get around, that's a huge improvement. So, Dr. Rowe, let's talk really quickly. You've done thousands of hip replacement surgeries, but now the robot offers some new advantages. Walk us through that. Well, the big advantages of the robot, Travis, are that it allows us in surgery to have precise numbers that help us to make our decisions so that we can do a very accurate replacement of the hip. Before, like all surgery, we used our experience, we used our intuition, used our instinct, and we did a pretty good job, but we always had outliers. Uh, right, and, and so you couldn't always calculate it perfectly just by visual inspection. And I do want to clarify, you kept saying acetabulum. That's the hip socket for folks who aren't sure. Hip goes into the socket acetabulum is that socket, and it's hard to get that arrangement just so. Yeah, the data from Boston shows that 30 to 35 percent of the time at their medical centers in Boston, they don't get the parts in right. So uh, if that's the data from some of the best medical centers, you can imagine that it's very important that we develop this technology and make it available so we can do that every single time we operate. And the robot allows you to get a more precise surgery performance. I think we also have some B-roll if you want to walk us through what we're looking at here. These black buttons uh, feed the information of the anatomy of the hip through that camera into the robotic uh, computer. And the Mako robotic computer will know exactly the shape of the anatomy of, of the patient. So here's Joy's hip, and we're validating that the registration of the anatomy is correct so that the it's fed back to me on the screen so that I see exactly what the anatomy is. And we've established the precise numbers for the correction of her hip. We can personalize her hip. And as we ream the acetabulum to prepare it, the socket, you can see the numbers are green when we're in the correct limits. And if they turn red, the robot stops. It just keeps us from making an error. And it allows us to put this perfectly placed cup in, into position. Yeah, correctly placed implants mean the difference between having a 30-year hip replacement or if they're incorrectly placed, it, it might be a five-year hip replacement. So the positioning of the implants and, and then for the patient, the restoration of the leg length and the restoration of the femur to the, to the pelvis are absolutely critical for them to live a life without pain and function as well as she does as quickly as she does. Well, this is one of those trends that makes me just always be in awe of medicine. So Dr. Roth, thank yeah. you. Enjoy, best of luck. Thank you. Thanks for being here today.